Okay, end of day two or beginning of day two night, I guess you could call it. Um, um, first day after my surgery. And it's roughly, I'd say, 8 o'clock, 8.30 in the night. Um, boredom, 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 boredom. I, I'm uh, ready to pull my hair out, and it's like day one of my captivity, as I call it. I've read every magazine I could get my hands on, played every game I could possibly find on my phone. Um, getting ready to start organizing my genealogy files, which will come in handy because I never have time to actually sit down and do that. Um, so far, everything has been okay pain-wise, but the nerve block is starting to wear off. So I made it... Um, to the bathroom and back and my leg was starting to throb pretty well um, it, 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 I, I mean throb pretty well so be prepared for that um, I'm half and I'm not a I'm not a good one to take pain pills but I'm breaking them in half I may end up having to take a whole one because um, it's it's hurting pretty good but I knew it would eventually, so I was kind of mentally already prepared for that one. I wanted to make my way out to sit on the porch a little bit this evening, but it seems like just, I mean, a minute or two leaving my foot not propped up is causing it to throb. So I'll have to definitely keep that up because I don't want the swell I'm in there. I want to be able to get my cast on when I go see him. Uh, and if it's swollen too bad, they probably won't put it on. But I want to show you guys those little ass seen on TV grabber gopher things. It has been a godsend. Get one because you can reach so much. I've been able to open my curtains today um, instead of piling everything around the bed. I've been able to set it down in the floor and pick it up, you know. Um, drop the remote. I could reach down and get it without having to holler for somebody. So definitely pick you guys up one of those. I, I didn't have one last time. Um, and it's it's worth its weight in gold, I will tell you that. I'm still using the um, old-fashioned walker with the four legs because where my foot's hurting pretty good. And I discovered today that it's only got the hard... Um, splint thing on the bottom with the ace bandage around the top um, so it's not real protective which makes me kind of leery I'm not that graceful uh, I'm kind of a little bit of a klutz so I want to be as stable as I could possibly be for the first few days until those stitches take hold so I'm kind of staying on that old fashioned walker there the more feet I have on the floor the better but that has been my day two. Um, the, it's a hassle to have to holler if you need something to drink, you know, or if you're hungry or whatever. But, you know, if you have somebody with you, let them help you. Um, my husband's been putting my stuff in a small cooler to where... I don't have to holler for him at night. Um, if you don't have somebody with you, um, you know, get you a small cooler. Put everything you can get, you know, within arm's reach. Slide it over next to you. That way you don't have to keep getting up and down. But I do suggest keeping your foot up as much as possible. Don't let it dangle. Because as soon as mine goes down to go to the bathroom, it starts throbbing. But that is my day two. Uh, I mean, it's tolerable. It's not excruciating. I've taken maybe... Maybe a pill and a half since I've been home. But I've also had that nerve block, like I said. Um, I don't know yet what's coming. Knock on wood. Let's hope it stays kind of this same pain level. Because if so, it's tolerable. But that is day two with the perineal tendon repair.